Happy Ramadan, everyone. What a beautiful day to start the holiness. Unfortunately, though, we have to review someone's sinful behavior due to the emergency of the situation. Ariana Grande. Come here, you walking home record. Look at my eyes. What are you doing, girl? What's wrong with you? We're all rooting for you. Remember how you used to dream about your soulmate and live with him happily ever after? And you had that with Dalton Gomez. All you had to do was to stick with him. But no, you ruined it. And one for whom? For a SpongeBob? My name is Bob. I'm a better SpongeBob than he is. Look at me. And I used to fantasize about you, Ariana, but not anymore. Going after married men with kids, ruining their families. No, no. I admire your musical talent, but I cannot enjoy your latest album due to this behavior. So fuck your album. I'm still gonna listen to it though. Okay, that was a preview, long story short. Now, let's talk about it in detail. Ariana Grande dropped a new album, Eternal Sunshine. And I personally, musically, musically, I like the album. The production is really nice. Max Martin did a really good job. Ariana Grande, of course, nobody took away her talent, right? Despite of her controversies and whatever, still, the music sounds really good. It's just the lyrics. The lyrics are reflecting what is happening in her real life, correct? So this was the first time when I was listening to Ariana Grande's music and I was thinking, ah, well, I don't really agree here or I was seeing the music in a different light and I had that similar feeling when you listen to people like Kanye West or Drake or Taylor Swift or R. Kelly. R. Kelly, of course, <laughs> on a different spectrum here, but still, when Drake sings about songs about love, we used to believe him back in the beginning of 2010s when he was just getting popular. We believed him. We could relate ourselves to his music and we were believing him that it is the girl who is at fault. It is that party who is at the blame, not Drake. And when guys were <laughs> going through similar stories in their lives, they were putting on Drake's music and I'm like, yeah, yeah. I feel you, I feel you, you know, like I, yeah. uh, the, the music cut, cuts deep into my emotions because it's too relatable. He's saying what I'm going through right now. Same with Taylor Swift with girls, right? Girls love Taylor Swift for that re uh, relatability factor. And yet both of them in their narratives, for me at least, it's not really believable anymore what they sing in their songs, especially Drake, who is 36 years old right now, I believe, and still talks about the relationships in a similar manner that he did in 10 years ago, uh, putting on the victim mentality, blaming other party, don't really take responsibility for his actions, when in real life we saw that Drake was at the blame for a lot of his has to toxic relationships. Kind of similar with Taylor Swift, but not to that extent. Taylor Swift, at least, she does have songs where she admits that it's her fault. And, and that's essentially one way to redeem yourself. What Ariana Grande is not doing in this album cycle. And last year, when all those news about Dalton Gomez and about Ethan Slater, they all sort of piled up on our uh, feed she was not addressing those things or if she addressed them it was very vague and it was 
them, not her. And I understand if I might not have enough research. Yes, I. I we 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 are all just guessing, correct? Because we are not in their circle and it's not really our business either to be honest but at the same time like ugh, you have that icky feeling when you discover that ariana grande is probably actually in the wrong and that wrong thing that she did is quite disgusting you know and like i was talking in the beginning of this video you went for a man with kids right ruining their families it allegedly that happened ethan slater was married man with a kid before they did their wickedness with ariana grande in the movie wicked and it's kind of messed up that these both actors in that scenario were in their families but then like broke their families hurt their current relationships at the time just to move on to the next person when they're already married, tied the knot. And when I talk about these things, I hope that karma will not catch me. I hope that when I talk about someone in a judgmental way, it will not come to me as a boomerang. I really do hope so. But as a content creator and who wanted to talk about Ariana Grande's new album, I can't really talk about just Ariana Grande's music because the lyrics are about this particular situation. So it is technically reviewing the album and I kind of am facing similar situation that Anthony Fantano did a couple months back when Kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign dropped Vultures 1. He called it unreviewable. I mean, it's not unreviewable, but and I don't have the same sentiment that Antonio Fantano shared about Kanye West and Kanye West being my favorite artist. I do love his music. There's a whole thing of separate, separate art from the artist. I sort of have that with Kanye West only. I think that's the only person, well, I, I guess Drake too a little bit, but I've learned to listen their music and just enjoy it for their sonical presentation and how it makes me feel rather than dive deep into the meaning of the lyrics and when they say something that i don't agree with like yeah i just uh, okay i mean i brush it off and just you know keep moving forward with ariana grande i think i should do the same at this point because it was very new to me this feeling was new i never thought about ariana grande's personal life when i was listening to ariana grande's albums it was just uh, enjoyment factor i was listening to distract myself enjoy myself have a good time but now she's talking about her love life which she did do that before too but at the time it was not with the light of oh ariana grande you're a homewrecker and it became harder to enjoy this music and, and appreciate this music when there's this taint on it. But as a listener who really loves Ariana Grande's music and since 2014 has been listening to every single album she drops for multiple months, and it always ends up in my top 10 of best albums of the year, Ariana Grande's music, no matter what, I just, it, it was a bit painful. <laughs> it's just not what I wanted to feel. And who cares about me, I guess, but I'm an average listener of Ariana Grande's music. And in this situation, she's losing a fan, right? So my suggestion would be for Ariana Grande to, instead of make herself look even more delusional or look like she just want to defend herself when she's clearly in the wrong with not so good evidences i personally want 
her if she ever will listen to me of course but i want her to come out have an interview with credible source have interviewer ask you questions about your we can call it fair we can call it new marriage with ethan slater how it all happened what was happening i mean i've heard that apparently dalton gomez was cheating on Ariana grande before this all happened i mean maybe i honestly believe the latter i believe that uh, ariana grande was just in a set of wicked they had a fling with Ethan Slater and it became more than a fling and you know she but what about Dalton Gomez right and I I, I don't think I, I just I don't see Dalton Gomez as a person who could uh, when he bagged Ariana Grande and was really happy about that and married um, all of a sudden just in the span of two years I understand if it was like after 10 years right I mean um, but he at least doesn't seem like that kind of a person but again of course we cannot really judge a book by its cover but still I, something tells me that it's not him they just Ariana and Ethan had this affair and just run away ran away <laughs> from their existing families but either way i want her if that's true to discuss about well he was cheating on me blah 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 and that's why i did this i did that this happened gaining again more positive public reception would be beneficial for ariana grande because i prob i am probably not alone right now i'm probably not alone right now and yes, there are, of course, fans who will always support her, no matter what. She's correct. She's right all the time. What Ariana Grande says, it's a Bible. But from outside perspective, it looks like you are doing something wrong, Ariana Grande. So I just want you to address these things. I want you to properly justify your actions somehow or show the narrative that you believe in which makes sense in your head which makes it in your head not wrong i want to hear your side of story and yes technically on this album she did address things but i did not really get answers i felt like it was more about the other party, them, them, them are in the wrong than me, me, me. I felt like there was some accountability, more accountability was needed to be present on that album to be really like, okay, tune in and like listening. Oh, what's going on? Because when something messy happens, like I am the first to admit like, okay, yes, I was wrong here. I did something wrong. When Especially when someone is upset with me, I am yes i feel bad i feel really bad about like what i did and i try to do better next time yes not all the time uh we will stop at that one time maybe next time you know there are times when your mind <laughs> has to go through something a little, couple couple more times than <laughs> maybe needed to finally register in your head but still i just don't see any remorse from ariana grande or if she believes truly that she is correct that there's nothing wrong i would have defended myself in a better way bring evidence something but she's not doing that, which is upsetting and makes you want to believe that what is other people saying are true. All these rumors and all like what happened with the SpongeBob, Ethan Slater, right? So I know we didn't really talk about music. Well, about music, yes, and the single is amazing. I really love it. Yes, and the production that 
uh, happy aesthetic and uh, sort of feminine innocence is there uh, sort of kind of like Disney-esque dreamy oh my god something amazing is gonna happen that type of production is there and I love it and it's not the first song Ariana Grande does in that nature but that's her style at this point and I like that style yes and single grew on me I mean even from the first listen it was hit for me but then uh, it's more as you listen to it it better it gets actually there's three tracks in a row before yes and true story supernatural and uh, what was the other one the boy is mine they have that r d from 2000s aesthetics and i really like that i i was really enjoying those songs and the other songs are good too of course uh, again they're in sorry on the ground <laughs> she knows how to make music uh, other songs were good too i mean i again i enjoy i enjoy what i'm hearing from this album but yes her real life story affects my music experience so that's why i wanted to come out here and just talk about it rather than like do a album reaction because i had just had a lot of <laughs> i just had a lot to say i guess okay so but yes those were my thoughts thank you so much for listening for tuning in what i did in the beginning of this video and on youtube shorts was just more like a pr stunt i just wanted to try myself in that uh nature see what happens see what other people will say and it was just fun i i'm a wrestling fan in wwe and uh someone can play a, as a bad guy in tv and i kind of wanted to try that out so so that was cool that was a cool experience maybe i'll <laughs> i'll do it once again we'll see but thank you so much for watching this video hit the like button subscribe to this channel and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye